Today, I've got my hands on the brand new B-Link GTI 10. Now, this is a compact, powerful mini PC running full Windows 10. It supports triple 4K display outputs. You have a built-in fingerprint sensor, built-in microphones, and great connectivity and upgrade options. Okay, so let's get this box open and check out those upgrade options. So we have four screws on the back. Quickly get them open. All right, so pull the ribbon cable and the lid should just lift off. Wow, check this out, people. So this is where you're gonna attach your hard drive. You can see the screw holes on each side and you can attach a two and a half inch SATA drive and that includes SSD drives. And you do have some instructions here on how to install the hard drive. Now I'm gonna remove this top section so we can check out the upgrades. You've got one, two, three, four more screws. Let's get them open. Now, after taking the four screws off, be careful when you lift it because you've got your SATA ribbon cable here stuck with a bit of tape. So you don't want to, so you don't want to lug that out. So basically, let's take the tape off carefully. There we go. And now you can just lift off this plate. Let's check out the RAM first of all. And you have two pieces of RAM already installed, and they are both eight gigabyte DDR4 RAM. So you can swap these out in the future and stick two 32 gigs in, giving you a maximum capacity of 64 gigs. And here is your main 512 gig SSD. It is an M.2 NVMe. And you can swap this drive out for a larger capacity and it supports up to two terabytes. And you also have another spare SSD slot. This is an M.2 SATA 3, and this supports a maximum SSD capacity of 512 gigs. So really like what B-Link do. Um, they give you plenty of upgrade options, making the product future proof. Now there's the ribbon cable for the SATA hard drive. Secure your hard drive in place with the four screws. And then you're gonna plug the SATA connection directly into your hard drive and then plug the ribbon cable directly in and away you go. So slightly different way of upgrading than what B-Link have offered in the past, but they've still made it very easy. So you and me can go ahead and do it ourselves upgrade our mini PC when we need it. Okay, let's close this up. Put the lid back on and four more screws to tighten. Impressive specs and upgrade options. Any questions, do let me know. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.